Okay, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about addiction. Um, and uh, and I probably will repeat this over and over again, but it was one of the most enlightening things. I got to meet my te one of my spiritual teachers, my enlightenment, Muji. And this thing revolutionized me because uh, I, I come from an addictions background. So my primary addictions were, were food, uh, I had workalism uh, in the stock, stock market, other addictions going. And, and then eventually you know, I had a near-death spiritual, spiritual experience and I got to meet uh, Dr. Hawkins and Muji. And, and he said this, when I was one, one, in one of his satsangs, he said this thing of like, and he got it from Ramana, another teacher of enlightenment. It's like, when I want something in the world, you know, I have a thought, uh, like, you know, I, I had a sugar addiction for donuts, you know, donuts, cakes, things like that. And um, so when I want a donut, it's like, and the donut could be anything. It doesn't have to be a donut, like it could be like that job, or it could be that person, that girl, or it could be whatever it is, or it could be whatever it is. Whenever I have that, um, using Course in Miracles language would say it's a special thing. It has, it has specialness, or it's a higher power, or it has some kind of attraction, like some kind, kind of glow about it. So whenever I want those things, it's like I have a thought that, oh, when I eat that donut, or when I get that girl, or when I get that job, uh, then I'm going to be happy. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be happy. So when I've got that thought, uh, and then when I get the thing, I will be happy, because I've been wanting it all this time and then I get I you know so I get the donut and I have a high or I get the job and I have a high or I get a date and I have a high so and then it was explained that actually when if you want something you're in a state of suffering because you're not happy in the now because you want something and then when you so you're in a state of suffering whenever you want something in the future or your ego has got a program that it needs something before it can feel feel happier or, or arrive Addiction is basically a field of whatever you get, it will never be enough. But you'll get a relief from it, and then you'll need more. So, and then I realized, okay, so I want the donut, and because I want donuts, that means I'm always going to be unhappy when I'm not eating a donut. And then when I'm eating a donut, I'll get like a rush. And he explained it. That rush is actually the absence of the thought wanting the donut, because you're now eating the donut. And that, that rush you get from eating the donut is actually a spiritual connection to God. But really, you get the spiritual connection to God because your ego goes into silence for a short while while you're eating the donut. So you get the connection to God because your ego is quiet for a few minutes. And then your ego starts talking again. Well, you need another donut now, you see. So, so, but it says, look, it works because you had the donut and you felt happy because of eating the donut. You don't get happy because you eat the donut. You get happy because your, your ego, which wanted the donut, stops talking for a while and you're eating the donut. And because it stays still or silent while you're eating the donut, you get a connection to God. And then it says the donut afterwards, it says the donut gave you that happiness. It was by eating the donut that you got the happiness. So then that, that starts the bondage cycle, which all addicts and 12-step groups know, because eventually you keep eating the donuts and they stop working. And then you're in uh, you're in endless hell because you you've gone into a trap. So by letting go of the illusion that something outside of yourself gives you happiness, you can then process the feelings and do spiritual work. And then you eventually, when you when you do work which releases your ego, like the Course in Miracles or or Twelve Steps or whatever, then and you stop acting out on th the externals that you think will give you happiness then you start to get that, you start to develop a, an inner happiness which is coming from your connection to God, you know, it's the, 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 the eternal now. So that was really, really helpful. So each time, so that then means that nothing, uh, nothing outside of myself in this world, and that's what The Course in Miracles says, I really like The Course in Miracles, nothing out, there isn't anything out there that, that can give you anything. It doesn't mean that you can't have everything out there, but when you project, it's special. Uh, then you're going you're gonna to end up in bondage. And when you're not projecting, if you like, one of the first lessons in A Course in Miracles is to make everything meaningless. You know, like this table is meaningless, this person sitting over there, he's meaningless, the camera is meaningless, the light bulb is meaningless. So when, when everything is made meaningless in the world that your ego thought was special, then you go into states of grace. 
you're in, in the internal now. You're in those timeless fields of grace and bliss. And those internal states of grace and bliss are because the ego is not active. It's not here saying, oh, I need a special donut in, after this group or, or whatever. Or, it, or it's, not, it's not active right now saying, oh, this group is really, really lovely because this gentleman has arrived. You know? So it doesn't do that because there's no ego that's making a, making a story about everything or thinking that something is absent, absent in the now. So that was really helpful for me.